All right, guys, here we go. The 2022 OMRA Dick Jagal Memorial GP up in Washougal, Washington, the national track. Definitely my worst start of the year. Uh, I had to start my bike twice. Not really sure what happened there. I think I was letting the clutch out a little too soon. Gonna try to make some quick work of people here. Look, man, this is my first time riding this track. I've been coming up here with my family for years, uh, watching the national you know, the pros for the AMA Outdoor Nationals, and I've always wanted to ride here. I was like a kid in a candy store. This is epic. Make my way into third place. Uh, just kind of having fun here. I mean, this is the catcher's mitt coming down. He's going inside, I'm gonna go outside. It, yeah, this was, I don't know, it's kind of an iconic track to me, but I was pretty excited about being here. I'm trying to ride cautious, of course, because I don't want to break my leg here. Uh, that would take some of the fun out of it. And like I said, first wheels on the track for me ever, so just trying to get a feel for it. The dirt, you know, it looks really good, but it's, it's kind of really, it's almost light and not a lot of clay in it, so... I don't know. There's not there's traction there, but it's it can be really loose too. So it's it's a different kind of dirt. I'm not really used to. And I'm sure the locals could explain it to you better, but there's traction there, but it's it can be deceiving. Yeah, I, my plan for these loops were like I'm just gonna double these and be nice and clean and be fast through it. Uh, that didn't happen one time. Uh, I've rolled them every time. <clears throat> Anyhow, it's still a great time. So I've caught the leader here early on in uh, lap one. Making our way through some traffic here. Like I said, this is super early in the race, so try not to make any mistakes. Just Ride clean laps. Have some fun. I really, you know, really wanted a podium here just because, you know, this is Wash Eagle, man. And, uh, you got a podium here, right? Always riding a little cautious uh, this first lap, but at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of excited to be up here. This is uh, this is a lot of fun. I believe this is Mike Altry. He ended up being the winning the series for 40 AM this year. Congratulations to him. Get out onto the grass here. They did a nice job with the grass track. And Mount Scott Motorcycle Club are the guys that put this on, and they—I've ran a couple of their their events that they put on, and they do a great job. Make a pass there, feeling pretty good. I feel pretty comfortable in the grass for some reason. Once I figure out how much traction there, I feel like I I can ride the grass tracks. I don't know, fairly aggressively. Anyhow, yeah, back to Mount Scott Motorcycle Club. These guys did a great job. The, the wind was crazy. Uh, I'd never seen wind up here like uh, we had this weekend. Uh, so keeping banners up was a real challenge for the guys uh, all weekend. They did, they did a pretty good job of it. I mean, as good as you could do. So course layout was really good. Um, you know, it's always better after you get that first lap in so you can kind of tell where you're going. As you can see here, I hit the pavement here and I kind of checked up a little bit. I want to make sure that 
I don't miss a turn or make a mistake where I, I blow through a section because this is pretty high speed here. Um, so the first lap I took it a little slow until I knew where I was going for sure. to have some wind because it cleared the dust out, but when the banners would come down, they would be all over the place. So that was a little confusing, but again, there was no fault to the track workers or anything on that. That's just the nature of the game. <coughs> like I said, a pretty fun layout. Had a, quite a bit of grass track. Uh, I'd say we rode 70 to 75 percent of the moto track. A few sections we didn't do, and they had a, uh, a pretty good uh, single track section also that was kind of tight and technical. I'd say of all the racing I did this year, I feel like this is probably the more technical track, more technical course that I rode this year just because between the dust and the, the composition of the dirt, um, you get into some of the wooded sections and there's a lot of rocks that are hidden in that dirt. And it was pretty tough to keep the, you know, make sure you didn't lose the front end of the bike. A couple steep, steep downhills that, you know, if you weren't paying attention, you could certainly make a mess out of. So. To me, it was a little more technical than most of the fast road stuff I'm used to riding, but uh, still pretty fun. I'm not a real good technical rider. It's definitely not my, my forte, but, you know, nothing crazy. No big bottlenecks or anything, so that was good. So I'm still running the Shinko 525 Cheater in this one. Uh, the tire worked really well. I mean, I've never had any complaints about the 525 as far as traction goes. I just can't get them to last very long. You know, 20, 25 hours. I guess that's, you know, that's not bad, but I end up usually starting to rip knobs off of them. The tire works good even as the corners, you know, the edges start getting rounded over on it, but when you start losing knobs, even though the tire still works good because it's so soft, it, uh, it makes it a little more unpredictable for me. So. The traction was not a problem. The bike ran great. I said I'm running a 2019 KTM 250 XC with a carburetor, so, uh, you know, if you really like to play with your jetting, that's always an option, but I've kind of found a happy medium with, with where it's at, and I don't really have to adjust it much. There are times when it may run slightly lean, but nothing that I have to worry about seizing the bike up or anything. You know, I run you know, factory recommended oil, motor X61. Uh, yeah, I haven't had any trouble with it. 145, 46 hours on it now on the stock piston and ring. Yeah, I'm going to say it again. I'm planning on changing that. I got the kit sitting on the bench at home. I'll try to make that happen here soon. You okay? That's what I'm talking about. You get into the woods up here and it's, it, it's hard to see for one. Uh, between the shadows and the light and then the dust and those rocks are buried and hidden and they're in there it was pretty it's kind of sketchy a lot of these it looks like there's a really good little berm but the dirt just pushes pushes on you just go right through it a lot of people having issues especially in the first lap so i'm trying to be consistent with my speed 
not work too hard, but still ride fast enough to not make, make any mistakes. And you get these little hills like this, just a lot of silt, a lot of powder, it's really dusty, hard to tell where you're going. rambling to myself. The course was fun though. I felt like I had it. Uh, definitely enjoyed the course. But this little section here was hit neutral there. But this little section you can see some of the rocks that are poking up through the dirt. And this section in particular didn't have great flow in my opinion. I really wanted to turn right there every lap but I never did. Again, Mount Scott Motorcycle Club did a great job with banners, making sure that making sure we we're going in the right direction. Come up on a couple of cowies here that are hung up. Of course, I'm revving like there's anything they can do about it. When you're leading, even when you're not leading, it's tough to just stop and be stagnant, you know. And then this little section, I didn't love this part. I should get off the bike here and back it up. There's a tree right here. It's, it's more than a 180. It's, it's a weird, I don't know, it's kind of a weird section. I mean, I ran it clean every lap after that, but that first little bit was tough. nice because there was plenty of room to pass for the most part. As long as he didn't try to do it in a tight single track. Another section that was kind of tight and tough. And it got a little harder every lap, I think, because it got, you know, the rock got a little deeper. More rocks got kicked up. I saw at least one guy uh, in the bushes through this section. Again, my NV2 tuned suspension worked flawlessly up here. Put the forks back where where they started. Uh, I made some adjustments at the last round to soften them up some, and uh, put the shock back also as far as the compression. And it worked great. Stiffened it up a little bit from the last round, anyhow. You know, because I was planning on hitting that big triple out on the motocross track. No, there, there was never any plan of that. I know my limits, usually. Although I think I could do it pretty, pretty easily. But I could probably break my leg on it too, so. Not really worth it. It was fun watching other guys do it. 
It's a bit of a tricky downhill here, especially when it was dusty. A lot of little rocks on it that can uh, deflect you and send you off in the wrong direction. But then you get into this nice kind of windy downhill that was that I kind of enjoyed. Especially if it wasn't too dusty. But like I said, at this point in the season, you know, you're kind of used to dealing with the dust. I don't know, you just kind of close your eyes and go for it, I guess. You do the best job you can picking lines and try to minimize the mistakes. You try to take it easy on that first lap so you kind of have an idea what's on the trail. reminder I know the GoPro flattens all this stuff out but it, this is this is all on the side of a mountain the track everything it's all in the woods on the side of a hill it's it's really cool it's a great facility I'm really happy that I got to finally at the age of 49 years old get out here and spin some wheels on the track it's always fun my daughter Casey was able to make it up with me and Got some great photos and had a good time hanging out. I really appreciate the time I get to spend with my kids anymore. I was hoping I would have had some of the Mag 7 40 amp class out here. I always enjoy seeing those guys and racing with them. Jason didn't make it. Really, none of the Mag 7 guys made it, I don't think. Not in my class, anyhow. Now, Kyle Hayes was here. He raced uh, AA. And I think he ended up having a little bit of an off day, but still he made it out healthy and that's all that matters. Kyle got second in the series points and uh, congratulations to him. Ethan Matuli got, uh, I think he won the series, the AA Pro guys. And congratulations to him. Those guys are pretty fun to watch. I stayed after my race. Watched the first couple of their laps, but I had a five or six hour drive home, so I couldn't couldn't hang out too long. This section was pretty fun. You kind of see me looking behind my behind me a little bit. Uh, there was somebody, I think, on a Husqvarna that looked like they were kind of making time on me, and I wasn't sure if they were in my class or not, so. At this point, I'm kind of cruising, just trying to uh, pace myself a little bit, because I know I've still got, got another hour and ten minutes of racing or so. But I do end up having to pick it up a little bit, because I was a little concerned that if he was in my class, he was very possibly going to pass me. I'm glad I finally made it up to this one. Uh, a lot of the videos I've seen from any of the GP style racing up in Washington uh, in recent years, it, it looks like there's either been a lot of moisture, which makes it look less than fun, or uh, I think at the hangover round there was some snow on the ground. And that's definitely not my, my style of riding, so conditions were really good today, I thought. Other than the wind, but you don't notice that a whole lot when you're riding. Um, 
you do notice it, but it doesn't affect me personally too much unless, you know, unless I'm catching massive air, which I'm typically not. This was nice. There was plenty of wide spots where you can make some passes, make your way through traffic a little bit. This section was always kind of sketchy. A lot of rocks right there. I think it'd be easy to end up in that pond if you're not paying attention. I'm gonna get back on the moto track here and run it backwards for a, I don't know, 100 yards or so. Back off into the trails, into the dust. Thought I was gonna get some room there and it didn't quite pan out. And I just about lose the front end getting past him. back onto the start straight. Oh man, the moto track was so fun. I'll tell you, some of those ruts got deep. They had a, they did a, a run a practice day on the track, just the moto track the day before that I did not attend, but uh, on Saturday. The locals over there definitely there was some pretty deep rust in some sections. But anyhow, that's about all I got for this one. Uh, until the next one, I'm out.